Okay, so we're asked to find the tangent of uh, the equation of the tangent line and the equation of the normal line at this particular point. Since they give us the point um, x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 2, all we really need to do is go ahead and find the slope. The way we're going to do that is using derivatives, and since we have a mix of x and y's, we can't get y by itself, so we have to do this using implicit differentiation. Now the key here is to make sure you finish each term with a dx or a dy dx or a dx dx. Now if you do a derivative of x, right, like we do here, we're going to finish that with dx over dx. The next term is x times y, which we treat e x as a separate function and y as a separate function. So here we're going to use product rule to get x times derivative 1 dy dx, right, because that's the derivative of y, and then we're going to add to that, uh, we switch, right, we now do uh, y times the derivative of x, which is 1 dx over dx, and then we go on to the next term, this is 2y to the 1, but since it's a derivative with respect to y, we put a dy dx there, the 7 goes away when you take the derivative it's just zero and now that we've done all the derivative parts we can clear up all the dx dx terms so this would go to one this would go to one and when we clean this up we get two x we're going to distribute the minus sign we get minus x dy dx uh, minus y and then plus two y dy equals zero and and then what we have to do is we have to group all the terms that have a dy dx term. So like here we have a dy dx, here we have a dy dx. And so we're going to get those two terms on the left side, right? So we get 2y dy dx, I'm just switching the order, minus x dy over dx. And we're going to put the other two terms on the other side by adding. So we get y, adding y to both sides, and then subtracting 2x from both sides. We need to factor out the dy dx. Uh, it's a common factor of these two terms. So we get 2y minus x equals y minus 2x. And then we divide both sides by the 2y minus x. We end up with the derivative is y minus 2x over 2y minus x. And this is very typical when you're doing implicit differentiation. You end up with both x and y values. Um, and so when we look for the derivative at this particular point, we need to use both x equals negative 1 and y equals 2. Um, and so when we do that, the dy dx at this particular point, negative 1 comma 2, we're going to plug in and we get 2 uh, minus 2 times negative 1 over uh, 2 times 2 minus negative 1. Right, so this is 2 plus 2 on the top over uh, 4 plus 1. So we get 4 fifths. And this uh, 4 fifths would be our slope of the line, of the tangent line. And so the tangent line, we're going to use point slope form. Right, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And we plug in x equals negative 1 for x1 and y e y1 equals 2. So we get y minus 2 equals 4 over 5. I don't know why my 5s look so terrible today. Uh, x plus 1. And that would be the equation of your tangent line. And if you were going to look for your normal line, the only difference with that is that you have to switch your slope Instead of the slope being 4 fifths, your new slope will be, you flip it and you switch the positive negative sign, so your slope is negative 5 fourths. So the, since the tangent and the normal lines go through the same point, um, we're still going to use the y equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So the only difference between these two would really be their slopes. They actually intersect at the point um, negative 1 comma 2. 
And that's it.